Yes? I just wondered if I could have a quick word about the food. Send a medic to the canteen. <laughs> Bear pie. Well, I don't like it! Oh. Oh. You hit him with the marmalade sandwich. Wait, what? <laughs> what is this? It's a marmalade sandwich. Marmalade? <laughs> This bear is now under my protection. Oh, oh. Anyone who touches a hair on his back will answer to Knuckles McGinty. The capital N! <laughs> you get my protection. So long as you make that marmalade. Deal? Deal? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be cursed, you guys, today wearing this beautiful red hat. Ah! <laughs> 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 hey, hey, guys, it's me, Chris, aka Kids Beers, aka ah! Built Different, aka Chubby Random, Self the Flesh, we got your mom is always talking about. Ah! Oh, today we do something that's considered the hardest task I was playing. Let him go. What is this? We're watching a movie with Mr. Adwin. Mr. Adwin, welcome, special guest, Mr. Adwin. Hello, 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 hello. What movie are we watching? <laughs> To do! Woo! I know what you're all thinking, but where's the marmalade sandwiches? Screw you! <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Are you blah 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 You know who I'd never screw over? The people on the Patreon. I would never screw them over whatsoever because I love them so much. True. And we have those of you who are subscribed to the channel at this very moment. I would never screw you guys over ever in a million years. But then there's some of you guys, some of you assholes, who are not subscribed to the channel at this very moment. Now, not only will I screw you over, but I'll take my fist and like a screw, just BOOM! Drive it and twist it right through your skull. And it'll come exploding out the other side and your brain will just go POW! And just shoot out like a shotgun shells flying in the back, man. Anyone who's behind you will be hit with the crossfire. It's like the splash zone at SeaWorld, man. Absolute crazy shit. Woo! So if you want to not get your brain matter exposed, simply subscribe to the Octocool channel today and your brain matter will stay within your skull, safe and contained. Paddington 2. Paddington 2 with extra marmalade, baby. It's a cop. Lucy. Lower me down. Oh, they're showing us how they found him. Oh. Oh, that's actually cool. So Paddington isn't actually related to them. Oh, no! no! Lucy! I'm afraid we're not going to London after all. We've got a cub to raise. What's he like? He's oh. so cute! <laughs> and so, rather sneezy. So that's why they never went. But he likes his marmalade. I have a feeling he'll go far. So they sacrificed their dreams of seeing London just to, to take, take care, care of, of uh, uh, Paddington. Yeah, that's actually beautiful, man. Oh, there's our bear. Dear Aunt Lucy. I that like is that. so cool. Good title, Seat Green. Oh my god. Wait, he's decked out now! Guess what, Paddington? The steam fair's coming to town. Ooh. I'm going along tonight to ride spatting the sandwich. What is that? Oh my god. Well, I think you're in great shape for a man your age, Mr. Brown. Ah, thank you, Paddington. Oh, that's hey, boy. How old do you think I am? Oh, uh, about 80. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel at home in Windsor Gardens. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Good morning, Paddington. Yo. Paddington speaks French? Thank you. Damn. Your sandwiches always put me in a good mood. Morning, Dr. Jeffrey. You haven't forgotten your keys, have you? Keys. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Puddington. You're welcome. Puddington! Puddington? He's got so many friends now. She's been cooped up all summer illustrating a series of adventure stories and has decided she wants one of her own. Oh, that's cool. Oh, interesting. Judy has been suffering from a broken heart. I'm dumped. Oh. I think you'll find you're dumped, Tony. Damn, dude. Tony got wrecked. Jonathan is joining her at big school this year. He hey, spent the yo. holidays building a fully working steam engine. Holy shit! About that, as it's not cool. You mean that's sick as hell? That's cool, what? And if anyone asks, he's now called J-Dog. <laughs> Please, no! 
Wait, he, he killed off his steam train dream? For J-Dog? Our new head of risk analysis will be Mr. Steve Visby. Who the hell's Steve? Did what Mrs. Bird calls a full-blown midlife crisis. Oh, yeah? It involves blending his food, painting his hair, oh, and engaging no. in a process called chakrabatics. Open your mind. What in the Chakrabatics? What the hell is that? I have a wonderful family and have made friends in dog! all sorts of places. <gasps> hey boy. He's a nice doggy. It's very nice, Mr. Gruber, but... I know, I know. It has to be perfect. Oh, since Uncle... I don't know. I, th I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of sick. Oh, what's this? <sighs> ah, that must be the popping book. Very interesting. Popping book? Really? What How does a book pop? Yeah, what makes it pop? Whoa, okay, Mr. that Gruber, is actually sick. It's wonderful. But if she saw this, it would be like she were finally here. Just to give her a taste of his home. Yeah. Wow. Well, what do you think? It's wonderful. I really love the contrast of the art style of the book as well. It's so nice. It looks really cool. This is perfect. Oh. Uh huh? We have a snag. Do we? Was what? A snag? It's the only one of its kind, and they want rather a lot of money for it. Oh, well, Mrs. Bird found this coin in my ear at breakfast. Ew! I'm afraid you would need a thousand of those coins. Duper duper. Oh, yeah, the monkey's coming. Oh, <laughs> shit! Aunt Lucy did so much for me when I was a cub. I'm going to get a job and buy that book. Back in a few minutes, Paddington. Oh, no. Ciao, ciao, Mr. Giuseppe. Oh. Paddington's in a barber shop? And yet the back and size, nothing off the top. Yes, but no, but come on, man, chop chop. If you say so, sir. Whoa. Oh! Whoa! Hmm. Oh. No. Oh god, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, let him go! He's shaking! <laughs> what? Would you mind if I call you by oh! Not the hairline! <laughs> Just putting you on hold! It's only a haircut, Nelson. There's nothing to be. Holy shit! <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that's not good. That's horrible! His precious hairline! How long has he been holding on to that one for? All done. I must say it's turned out a lot better than I expected. <gasps> Harry, marmalade. Get it off. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh! oh! Have you ever been fired, Mr. Brown? Well, no, but uh, it's a tough competitive world out. Wow, that's a pretty big fair. Holy shit. Whoa. Everything's about Tony, and the only reason no one's helping with your paper is because it's so lame. Well, at least I'm not pretending to be someone I'm not. Nor am I. Damn. Jado. Spud bounce. But Aunt Lucy. What bounce? What spud? Spud bounce. What is a spud bounce? Volunteers. Anyone? Meeny, meeny, bear. Oh, let's have the young bear. One more. Woo, young bear! Yay! You live with. Henry and Mary and the great Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what an asshole. Hit her with the... <laughs> or used to be. Now you do dog food commercials. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one wish tonight, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. I'd like to get my Aunt Lucy a birthday present. Oh. Oh. I've got my eye on an old pop-up book of London. The only problem is it's rather expensive. So I need to get my paws on an awful lot of money. We can, of course, offer you oodles of fun. Oodles <laughs> of fun. Oodles of fun. This, uh, this pop-up book. Do you know it? I know of it, but I was led to believe it was lost. Where on earth did you find it? Oh, at Mr. Gruber's antique shop. Oh, no. Imagine you just have to start at the bottom of the ladder and work your way up. <laughs> You've just given me the most brilliant idea. Have I? I'm going to be a window cleaner. Wait, what? A window cleaner? What? What? 
In what way was he inspired to Whoa. clean the window? Holy shit, that's cool. Because he's rising to the top. He's working on ladders, literally. Ooh. Damn, Paddington's weak. <laughs> <laughs> he weighs nothing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he broke his bucket. Oh, he's going down! <laughs> of course. I don't think he's made it uh, for the ladder business. Interesting technique. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, it worked. Oh, look at him go! He's cleaning the windows. Wait, what? He's at the aquarium? Does he have a scuba license for this? Ah, his sandwich! His marmalade sandwich! You are not Mr. Gruber. Clear off! No, you don't. His ladder! His ladder. Stop! Free! Suspect is a small bear wearing a red hat and blue duffel coat. There's only one man with that kind of appearance. He's biking away! Slowly! Holy shit! Get off my god! Is that back? Uh, uh, no. Oh no. Dude, I'd be terrified of my mind if I saw a bear riding a dog. Right? Chasing me? That book. Afraid I can't do that. Cheerio. Ah! He's a magician? Do you're really gonna handcuff Paddington? No way. Like. He's a little bear. He eats marmalade sandwiches. That's like all he does. Caught red-handed. What? Robin Gruber's antiques. Oh, well, God. well, well. Truth is out. We opened our hearts to that bear. Oh, God. Oh, he's this he's gonna eat this up. Man. This is his Christmas. You're right? Yeah. Paddington goes to jail is his greatest highlight. Or that we all return in glory in the greatest one-man show the West End has ever seen. Oh God, no! Oh, One man God. show. Thank you. Oh, so he's insane. Hidden on every page, a little lady pointing to a clue. Find all the clues. We're rich again. Oh, it's like a map. Thank you, Simkins. If, like me, your doggy likes to maintain stamps. Oh shit, I that's bad. Harley Whoa! I didn't think the dog commercial was this shit. You're young. You've done nothing wrong. So long as you get a fair-minded judge. Oh, no. oh, oh. oh, oh shit! shit! Holy shit, there's no way. You're screwed. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? May my entrails be plucked forth and wound about my neck, should I deceive. That's An entrail hanging? That would be cool. I went to my awards room, which is a large room overlooking the newspaper. Oh, house, God. And I saw. Yeah. Insufferable. Based on the bear's description of the man he wow. claims he was chasing. Oh, a handsome devil, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what? what kind of comment? Oh my god, it's so good. T, did you see this man? I did not. <gasps> but perhaps he'd already vanished. I beg you, have mercy on him. He is but a cop. Oh, no mercy. Ten years for grand theft. Oh. But I and grievous barberly harm. Grievous barberly harm? <laughs> That's so good. Oh, um, Mrs. Brown usually reads me a story before bed. I don't suppose. Sorry, son. No bedtime stories in here. Oh. Damn, not even a bedtime story? Poor padding. Prison sucks. There's been a bit of a mix up with your present. And the upshot is I've had to leave Windsor Gardens and move. Somewhere else. That's a good way to put it. But it's not all bad. It's a period property. Oh. In fact, it's one of the most substantial Victorian buildings in London. <laughs> good morning. How would you like to start a gardening club? How'd you like to be buried in a very deep hole? <laughs> <laughs> Laundry. Oh no. No. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. A 
Oh wow, he's actually going. Yeah, yes. Wait, you clothes. can't put that in there. Yeah, you can't put that sock in there. Oh, it's only one red sock. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> the pink really brightens the place up a bit. If you ask me, you should pipe down and enjoy your dinner. Because it might be your last. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. He's shaking. Do things to remember if you want to survive in here. Keep your head down. And never talk to Knuckles. Thank you. Knuckles? Knuckles? Aunt Lucy said, if you look for the good in people, you'll find it. She obviously never met Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I just wondered if I could have a quick word about the food. Send a medic to the canteen. <laughs> <laughs> Bear pie. Well, I don't like it! Oh. Oh. You hit him with the marmalade sandwich. Wait, what? Wait! <laughs> what is this? It's a marmalade sandwich. Marmalade? <laughs> this bear is now under my protection. Oh. Oh. Anyone who touches a hair on his back will answer to Knuckles McGinty. The capital N! <laughs> you get my protection. So long as you make that marmalade. Deal? Deal. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I just spit my hair. I knew there was something special about that pop-up book. Hmm? Why else would she have kept it in a strong box? You're not telling me you believed all that. He's a Smurf! Blue Man Group? Twelve London landmarks in the fourth one? I don't know how many there are. What happened to the man I married? He'd have believed me. Oh, him. He's gone. <laughs> I'm afraid your husband's just a creaky old man. He's not Bullseye Brown. Oh, bullseye Brown? Whoa! Whoa! Henry. <laughs> anyway, the point is, nice shot. He was actually cool when he was younger. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Mumbling time. That's terrifying, man. No humming, but or singing, I'll... or any other expression of bon hummy. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that was kind of cool. I wish I could do that. With my hat. I'm finding this a very stressful working environment. Aunt Lucy said... Aunt Lucy? I've had it up to here with Aunt Lucy. She sounds like a proper old bag to me. Kick his ass, Paddington! Uh -oh. why, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> He's staring at him! Looks to me like you've got yourself a fine pair of orange squeezers. Orange squeezers? Orange squeezers? We're gonna hand squeeze him? And squeeze him. Whoa, shit, he can! Yo, my man just juiced him! Holy shit! Wow. Where on earth did you learn to use a knife like that? You don't wanna know. <laughs> Same again. Whoa. Ah. A squeeze of lemon. Oh, a little, okay. Is it good? Oh, it's too soon to tell. We'll only really know once it's set. <laughs> he just, he's clean the jar! Hold it there, sister. You're going nowhere till the detective says so. Spin it around. <laughs> I was on patrol in the upper dome watching the nuns parade far below when something caught my eye. One of them broke free from the herd. <laughs> the herd. But she was never going to get away with it. Not while I'm vice deputy head of security. <laughs> Oi! Oh shit! An old unit, an unusually attractive nun is called. <laughs> Not again! Unusually attractive. Oh my god! Most beautiful woman I've seen in a long time. Do you think you might be able to describe? <laughs> it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Dude, I love this joke. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, they're really enjoying those sandwiches. Oh man, the marmalade sandwiches hit different. I guess in comparison to eating that grill for 10 years? Anything's better than that. Yeah. 
Oh shit, a round of applause as well. Really? Gotta give it up. That's my knuckles. Well, my grandmother used to do a lovely chocolate roulade. I think I can remember the recipe. Charlie oh. Rumble makes a mean apple crumble. Apple crumble? Yeah. Get it in there quick! Like a strawberry panna cotta. Whoa, oh, big oh, man! Oh, wow. Thank you, Vips. Yo, are we just eating dessert all day long now? Dude, prison looks awesome! Fondue! Chocolate with fountain! Butterscotch! My man likes butterscotch, alright! He made prison not lame. Prison sweet prison? <laughs> what are you doing? Talking to the nice men. Nice men? <laughs> Talk about a rogues gallery. Hideous. And as for that bearded baboon in the middle, he's hardly got two brain cells to rub together. We can still hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, morning, Mrs. Brown. Chibi asked me to drop these off to you. Propaganda! You are wasting your time. Propaganda? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Give them here, Mary. I have to sell them under the counter for obvious reasons, but people are buying them. Under the counter? I suppose you know where he is, do you, Feathers? He's behind you. Mary? Oh, hello. Wow, that's clever. Well, you're an artist, Mary, like me. Our imaginations run free like bison upon the plain. But can I just say... A bison upon the plain? Huh. I do have a little bit of good news that might turn your frown. As though the funding may be coming through for my one-man show. Oh. Who asked? Who cares? The man in the poster, your wonderful drawing. Yes, but how do you know he had blue eyes? It's just a pencil sketch. Well, then I must have colored him in. <laughs> feathers? Who's feathers? Hmm? The parrot at the. <laughs> <laughs> when can we expect to see Mr. Buchanan back on stage? Phoenix? He won't work with other people. Thinks they dilute his talent. Holy shit, he's like wow. a next level narcissist. He's really full of himself. The package has been delivered. Barkridge's, no less. Lucky. That's a green ass house. Holy shit. Hello, darling. Have you gone insane? I know it's Phoenix. I've got to prove it. This is breaking and entering. We haven't broken anything. Oh, shit. A secret room. It's an attic. A secret attic. It's an ordinary <laughs> attic. Every house in the street has one. I mean, look, it's just a perfectly normal. Oh, my God, he's a weirdo. <laughs> True! All you can actually prove is that Phoenix Buchanan keeps his old costumes. Yeah, Bring me some yeah. hard evidence. Bring me the book with his fingerprints on, and then you've got it. Yeah, it's like the only thing they can prove is he's a freaking weirdo, man. Mm -hmm. Oh no. What? what? We've missed visiting. <gasps> Paddington. He's gonna be so sad. No! Poor Paddington. No, he's disappearing. Tonight's the night. We leave at midnight. You want to clear your name? It's now or never. I'm in. Wow, Paddington escapes from prison. This is sick. I wonder what the plan is to escape, though. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they're doing this again. I like that. Oh, cool. Oh, convenient slide. Huh. Oh. No wonder they needed him. Yeah, I don't think any of them could have pulled this thing off. Whoa. Whoa. He's like a s snake. Huh? Whoa. The joke I just thought. Damn. Wow, that would have been a wild joke to make. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> yeah, they're going for like a, a Charlie Chaplin thing, though. Yeah, that's not I, what I was thinking. I know. I know what you were thinking, buddy. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I get the marmalade sandwiches! Wow. Wait, that's actually sick. They made a what? custom hot air balloon? We're leaving the country. And you're coming with us. But... You lied to me. Oh no. Hey, no. Oh no, you can't lie to Paddington. Paddington. Let him go. He must have got himself arrested. 
Poor Paddington. I've been looking for him at every landmark in that book. Every last page. Where all your dreams come true. Why do you say that? Oh, it was written on the last page of the pop-up book. Always let me think of Aunt Lucy. I found that exact same phrase on a scrap of paper in Phoenix's house. Really? Uh-oh. <gasps> oh! I'll see you there. The power of friendship! Right, Paddington. Oh. Stay low. And remember, you're a bin. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Nothing to see here, officer. Just the bin. <laughs> <laughs> the dude's not paid enough to care. He's like, whatever, man. The book. <sighs> Toffee apples. <sighs> the most deadliest weapon known to mankind. A toffee apple? Oh, he's gonna crawl across! Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, what the fuck? What? I, I can't. That, that was. I. Uh... <laughs> Yo, he's doing the Matrix! Oh, shit! Dude, Paddington could dodge bullets. Dude, Paddington is starting to believe. Whoa. Wait, what the? He's like Van Damme! Ah! Hey, turn around! Yeah. Dude, that would have split him in two. Holy shit. You know what? If he's lucky, he'd get split. Oh. He's like Spider Man. Morning. <gasps> oh. no! Come back with that book! Wait, you don't have sticky feet, though. You, 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 you're missing the toffee apples in your feet. <laughs> Stage combat. Level four. Level! Well, where I come oh. from, laddie, they teach you never to bring a knife to your gunfight. Whoa! Whoa, shit! I think you'll find that fire's plastic darts. <laughs> so it does. Nice! Whereas this sword looks very sharp. The flamingos! Don't worry. I know a wee trick Harry Houdini used to do. Oh, nice. Yo, that thing's crazy! Look at him go. No! Oh, shit. Bye-bye, bear. Oh, damn. Wow. Where is it? Wait, Paddington dies? Oh, her swimming! Oh, yeah! Wow! What a great payoff, actually. Oh, shit, they're coming. Here we go. <gasps> they saved him. They saved Paddington. Phoenix Buchanan has been arrested. And, I might add, is no longer a member of our Platinum Club. Good. Aunt Lucy did so much for me when I was a cub. I suppose all I ever really wanted was to make her proud. Oh man. Oh. With no present, I think I've let her down completely. Come with us. No. No! No! Don't you dare do this to me! Don't you dare do this. No way. No, 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 no. Mm, no. If it wasn't for you, we'd never have met. You helped me pass my exam. No. I would be permanently locked out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Why look at London in a book? When she could see the real thing. No. No! Oh my No, God. they're not! Please, no. No, dude. No! no don't oh do this to me! Don't do this. Oh my god, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god. Happy birthday, Aunt Lucy. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> yeah, that, that was beautiful. Aunt Lucy's birthday. Oh my god. All right, we just watched Paddington 2. Paddington 2. What what a wild journey, man. Paddington literally goes to prison.
Paddington goes to prison. Paddington escapes from prison. And Paddington almost drowns to death. It kind of follows a similar pattern to Harold and Kumar. They go to prison in the second. And then they escape prison. Yeah. But they didn't... Except they, they got better sandwiches than Paddington too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if only Guantanamo Bay had uh, marmalade sandwiches instead of cockney sandwiches, right? That would have been a completely different movie. Yeah, but it was actually a really good movie, man. I, I really liked it a lot. You know? It was generally a good movie. It was generally a good movie. I don't know, like, ugh. you asshole. All right, you asshole who made Paddington 2. Whoever thought about bringing Aunt Lucy in the very end of that movie. My God, dude! Dude, it got me. As, as soon as they it were like, me. as soon as like, oh, we have some for you. I was like, they're not gonna do. They're it. not gonna do the thing. They're not gonna do the thing, right? And they do the goddamn thing. They do the thing. Oh my God, dude! Dude, it got me. It uh, got me, man. It was beautiful. It was just oh like, God, it was so beautiful, man. It brought almost tears to my eyes, man. Yeah, Holy shit, it, dude! It hit me, man. It's it just because of like Paddington's like relationship with his his Aunt Lucy. It was like so similar. I don't know. It makes me think of our grandmother. For some reason, you know? Yeah, it felt yeah. like a very similar thing in that kind of regard. So that's why I was just like, ah, I don't know, man. That was kind of hitting too close to home there for a second. Yeah, and Holy all he shit. wanted to do was to, like, show her show London, her London you know? Not only that, just to be, have her be proud of him, of what he's done there. Exactly. You know? And uh, it's just really sweet. That in the end, they actually got her to go there to live her dream. Yeah, why why look at a pop book when you could see the actual thing? That is so you know? beautiful. Yeah, th that was just like <sighs> I love that so much. I could I completely forgot about Aunt Lucy's birthday and all that shit, man. I was just so invested to the story. So right when they did that, dude, I w I kind of wasn't I didn't see it coming, dude. I did not see this shit. No, coming. but again, like I like a lot of the things that they foreshadow, especially Mrs. Brown learning to swim and how that comes into handy later. Yeah, she learned how to swim. Uh, J Dog. Dude, formerly known I as... I hate that shit, man. Formerly known as J-Dog. Uh, he, uh, he got to... Uh, what was that? A spud bump? I can't remember. Dude, I didn't want to I don't remember. know what the hell that was. Anyways, J-Dog, you know, with his, his, his love of trains... Steam engines? Yeah, steam engines and stuff like that. It's like everything paid off in the end. Or even, like, Mr. Brown's, uh... His little, like, bullseye. Not only that, even his, uh... His... You, uh, his new yoga stuff he was chakra, doing chakra chakra aerobics I think yeah it was allowed him to hit the Van Damme yeah, that was kind of cool actually when he hit the Van Damme that was kind of dude sick. Mr. Brown is Jean-Claude Van Damme Mr. Brown is Jean-Claude Van Damme who would have thought who would have known he should have uh, hit Buchanan with one of those uh, jumping kicks <laughs> that would have been sick man or give him like some form of like blood sport action hit him yeah that would have been sick yeah but actually I yeah, would like hit him that. with blood sport Oh, okay, yeah, that would be yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Wouldn't that been a crazy any of Buchanan like blinds Mr. Brown and he just like blindly just like beats the shit out of him like in uh whatever. I'm not gonna go into that. You're thinking way too deep into that. I th I was thinking that would have been cool, man. That would have been <laughs> sick. That would have been one way to finish the movie. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, I actually I, I wait, okay, you go. No, no, go on. I was gonna say my favorite thing about it is how Paddington has a magical gift that he basically just brings happiness and improvements to people's days in life. Yep. Immensely. So, and then he doesn't realize how much of an impact he actually has. Well, it's has. kind of because everything he learned was from his Aunt Lucy, you know, in terms of manners and that always looking the good of, in, in people. And he says, sometimes all you have to do is look and you'll find it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just all the lessons he learned from his aunt paid off in the end. Mm -hmm. you know? Especially mm -hmm. with Knuckles. Yeah, they made him the bear who he was... Uh, I mean, there he is today kind of thing, you know? Yeah, it was, it was really sweet. Yeah, it was really nice. It was even, like, nice to see how he uh, even got into... Got to befriending Knuckles and stuff. And you saw that Knuckles had, like, a lot of deep-rooted issues in terms of his father. You yeah. Know, how he was, like, a no, a, a no good, a useless, you know? He was just, like... Yeah, it was just really sad. Patty was trying to show him. It's just, like, you know, you can become better. Yeah, you gotta be... You have to stop being so scared of others. You know, the, of... He was scared of the judgment of others. He was just, like, if I just made shit... And they always expected shit. And not only that, and if I also was just really aggressive with them and mean, you know, yeah. kind of just made them accept it, that everything would be okay like that. And how he never wanted to go sit with them. He always kept to himself as well. Yeah. Because you know? he was, he was he, the other day he was scared of um, rejection. Yeah. Of, uh, of others, you know. What if they didn't like him? What if they didn't this or that? You know, if they just assumed the worst of him, 
they wouldn't be disappointed in him. No. You know? It's kind of sad. Uh, we, I, I would like to talk more about this since the podcast. I feel like we're already going a little too deep. Uh, we will touch more on these subjects when we do the podcast. Woo, Paddington and 2! Maybe then we'll have marmalade sandwiches for the podcast. Yeah, we probably will, honestly. We, we probably will, actually. We probably will. Yeah, Pinky Promise. Pinky Promise, marmalade sandwiches. See you there. All right, we're going to peace on out like... Um... Who died? Did anybody die in this? Anybody die in this <laughs> Oh, um, the Flying Swan. What was her name? She hit the ground and died. We're going to peace on out like her. Yeah, Flying Swan into Dying Swan. We're going to literally drop dead.